Next, go to File, New, create another new canvas, and, and next we're going to be creating the banner. So you want the width to be 700, 720 pixels and the height to be 200, 200 pixels. So press OK. Make your banner, save it as banner in that folder and save it as a JPEG. So after you have done all that and you saved it in that folder all as JPEGs, you want to actually now you want to put it up on your MySpace. So how you do that, there's, uh, there's some complex HTML involved. But luckily for you guys, I did all of this for you. I did all this for you, so you guys don't have to do anything but replace some stuff. And I'm going to be going over that real quick with you guys on how to replace them and how to make them the way you want. Okay, so um, the link to all of this HTML will be in the video description. And also you can find all this on my MySpace, on the text pork on bad MySpace. MySpace.com slash bad. You can find it all there or just in the video description. So once you're here, you want to copy all of this HTML. Copy it all. Then go to your edit profile section and call and paste it all in your about me section. So next I have clearly, even if you don't listen to this part of the tutorial and you know some basic HTML, you could pretty much know what to do. Because I have it all labeled for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is upload your background image to tinypick.com. The link to tinypick will be in the video description. So go to your folder and upload all your stuff. So let's do the background first. BG, double click on that, then press upload now. After you have pressed upload now, it shouldn't take that long to load. And it will give you the direct link to the image. And it'll say it it's like almost the last one it'll say direct link for layouts all you have to do is click on it and it already copies it to your clipboard so then go back to edit uh, your edit profile or edit um yeah your edit profile and in your about me section after you have pasted all of that HTML the first thing right away you should see in parentheses it says URL to BG image so obviously that's your URL to your background image from tinypix.com so all you have to do is replace the URL to BG image with the URL as simple as that. Make sure to keep the parentheses. And also I um just to let you guys know I have everything set to default colors so everything's going to be to black. So if you want to change that, for example, right here the RGB, the red, green, blue colors is 000. zero, zero. So that means it's going to be black. So if you want to change that, you have to change those numbers to make it different colors. Okay, so Next, after you have done that, you want to scroll down and find the next one. So keep scrolling, 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 and you, until you find the next one. The next one is going to be your name. So the name, as I said, right here, where it says Tom, that's where your name is going to be located, and it's going to get rid of this boring text right here. So, um, yeah, just uh, upload your name to TinyPic. So press upload again. Browse, name, upload now, wait for it to load, copy the direct link, and just paste it right there. And make sure that you're not getting rid of the, the parentheses, and also make sure that you're replacing the text that's in there. Because I just put that there so you guys know what, what to put in there. So, after you have done that, scroll down, and by the way, in that name, right here, I, I already have the height set to 200 pixels so that's why it's really important for you guys to um to make sure that you use the file sizes that I give you guys because those are the file sizes that work the best and also I already have those file I already put those file sizes in this HTML code so then you want to scroll down and the next one should say URL to network banner image so you want to upload your network banner and put the URL right there <clears throat> browse Network banner, upload now. Really simple, huh? Shouldn't take too long. And there we have it. Copy that and paste it right there where it says URL to network banner image. 
Now, as you can see, I already have the width set to 435 pixels and the height set to 200 pixels. So, as I said, I already have it in there for you guys, so it's easier to follow the um, the si file sizes that I gave you, the height and the width. So, yeah, make sure to follow that. Okay, so next, the URL to contact table. And again, right here, I set the width to 300, the height to 150 pixels. So, make sure. Again, I cannot stress how important that is. So, Next, you want to upload your contact table. And by the way, sorry, I'm stressing how important that is because if you don't get it, like if you don't do it the right size and you don't know basic HTML, then you're pretty much screwed because your um, your MySpace is gonna look really retarded. So upload your contact table. Upload now. <coughs> And replace it with that text so go back to edit profile and it's gonna say URL to contact table you want to replace it right there and I think there's one more and that's the banner so scroll down and it'll say URL to banner so you want to upload the last thing which is the banner browse upload banner upload now And by the way, for the banner, also, no surprise, I have this, the height and the width set to 720 by 200. And also, there's some other stuff in the banner, which will say, for example, margin left, um, the top, and left. So, in left, you should see 20%. On top, you should see 600 pixels. And on margin left, you should see 0. And on width and the height, you should see the default width and height which is 720 pixels by 200 pixels and what that does is some people like to put their the banner up on top of their MySpace profile so that's the first thing people see but I like to put it at the bottom of my MySpace profile so right there that's the default settings to put it at the bottom of your MySpace profile so you're gonna need to change that if you want it at the top but if you want it at the bottom just leave it as is so after you have done that just click save changes <coughs> And after you have saved changes, a CAPTCHA should pop up. So right here. And if it doesn't, you're lucky because these things get really annoying. But at least MySpace doesn't make them case sensitive. So at least that's a good thing. <clears throat> so after you have entered that, it should say profile updated. Then click on view my profile. And everything should work pretty much. So and if you have any problems, make sure to message me. I'll help you through it. But if you follow it step by step, you shouldn't have any problem. So there it is, TSGB, the name. Here's my network banner, which says here to help. There's my friends, which is my actual MySpace profile. There's my normal banner, text broke on bad. Um, I have some stuff. Yeah, it's a banner. And, uh, well, <laughs> well, you can't see the contact table behind the banner. So, yeah, the contact table is there. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure it is because it says message and for forward to friends right there. But yeah, I guess I misplaced the banner. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's as easy as that. And also the background work, I forgot to mention that. And well, yeah, just mess around with it. And you could do a lot more than this. I just did this really quick for the purpose of this tutorial. And you could do a lot more than this. Be creative. And well, yeah, I um, hope it works. And if you have any questions or uh, problems or anything, message me. I'll be glad to help. And make sure to check out my new MySpace myspace.com slash TSGV. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.